In this video, we will show you how to do an exponential regression in Excel. The data that we'll be using is given in the spreadsheet. The data here is the percent of U.S. population ages 85 and older from 1900 to 2010. As before, we convert the year to the years since a particular year, in this case 1900. So the x values that we'll be using in a regression are the number of years since 1900 and the y values will be the percent of US population ages 85 and older given as a percent. A percent is a number between 0 and 100. So to do the regression we, we select the x and y values that we want to regress. We click on insert we click on scatter and we click on scatter with with markers so all we've done at this point is we've created a scatter plot or plot of the points that are in the table now we want to do the regression we do that by coming over here and selecting layout 3 when we do that layout 3 includes a linear regression if you look at that, it doesn't look like the linear regression is doing a very good job. Let's go ahead and click on that and let's just see what the equation and the R squared value of the linear regression is. So the linear regression that was done by Excel has an R squared of 0.8845. That's a reasonably high R squared but when you look at the, the uh, regression relative to the data points, it doesn't look like it's doing a very good job. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to redo this regression using an exponential regression. Why do we do or use an exponential regression? Well, you'll see that the data is increasing from left to right, and it's increasing faster than uh, the linear regression. That suggests that the regression has to be either exponential or possibly quadratic. For this particular video we're going to go ahead and we're going to use an exponential regression. Okay. So to do that we go ahead and we select our X and Y values, we click on insert, scatter, scatter with plot or scatter with markers only. Okay. Then we, we pick layout 3 and again what we want to do is we want to do an exponential regression so we're going to go ahead and double click on the line and pick exponential as our trend line option and also we want to display the equation and the R squared value on the chart. Let's go ahead and make it bigger again So here is our exponential regression. You'll notice that the R squared is bigger than the R squared we got when we did a linear regression, which is a good, which is good. You also, if you look at the regression line, the exponential regression line, it, it, it appears to be fitting the points much better than the linear regression line. The last thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put in the appropriate title for both the X and Y axis. The X axis represents the number of years since 1900 and the Y axis represents the percent of the US population ages 85 and older. Well, that completes our video on using Excel to do an exponential regression of our data.